So one of the programs that we're working at at the Danagulian lab involves the development of monochromatic sources for the purpose of interrogating cargoes for the presence of fissionable, fissile, and nuclear materials, as well as nuclear devices hidden inside the containers. Currently, the state-of-the-art systems are using uh, branch traveling sources uh, to do the job. However, there are, while branch traveling sources are simple to build and are very common because of that, uh, they are very inefficient when it comes to the signal that they produce and they end up delivering very large doses to the uh, containers. Monochromatic sources will essentially reduce the doses significantly and they will improve the signal that you can acquire from a container. Hence, probably cutting down the uh, measurement times. Additionally, uh, the, the, one of the extensions of this program is to develop tunable monochromatic sources. That means having a source not only with a very narrow energy, but with a narrow energy that can be moved around. That will allow you to um, use such sources in nuclear resin fluorescence applications, which can identify individual isotopes inside the container uh, and will again help in, in, towards the goal of uh, nuclear security.